Hello, I'm David Snell, President of the Fuller Center for Housing. Welcome to the first edition of A Word from the Whelan House. Uh, what you've just seen is the uh, office building that we have in Americas, and we're calling this uh, the uh, Word from the Whelan House because that's what we call our, our office here in Americas. Whelan House was uh, purchased by uh, John and Sue Whelan right after we organized the Fuller Center. And they paid to rehab it, and then they gave it to us. So we have a headquarters building that uh, has no rent and no mortgage. So come on in, and I'll show you around and uh, introduce you to some of the folks that make the Fuller Center happen. So this is what folks see when they first walk into the Whelan House. And one of the most impressive things is this display case. It shows a number of the awards that Miller received through the years. This is just a few of them, but they're some of the most important. Uh, he was given the uh, Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Clinton, and that's right here. And then these are other awards and acknowledgments that he received through the years for the, the wonderful work that he did. Now, it's a cool day in America, so I had to bundle up, but come on in and, uh, and I'll show you around. This is our conference room. Back in the corner there is Sheila Snell, who comes in uh, two days a week, and she helps us with a whole number of things. Um, keeps track of me, by and large. <laughs> Behind Sheila is the office of our finance office, and uh, uh, Kathy Doyle is our finance director. Uh, she works primarily out of Atlanta, so she's not here for you to meet today. Come on in here. This is where the work actually happens. Uh, this is uh, where we have our programs offices, the Bike Adventure, Global Builders, and uh, some of the folks that work in here are uh, Stacy Autumn Driggers. Stacy is the Vice President of U.S. Programs, and uh, she is doing a bag up job um, bringing new, new uh, covenant partners into the fold and taking care of the ones we've got. And then hiding behind the uh, computer terminal over there is Stacy Goolsby. Stacy is our registrar, so if you've signed up for any trips, Stacy knows about you. But she also is a person of uh, uh, major impact here, does a lot of things beyond uh, uh, registering. Uh, she takes care of a lot of our processing and mail and, and is just a general uh, assistant to us all. Now, back, back here in the corner is Kathy Smith. Hey, Kathy works with Stacy Odenbriggers in the U.S. Programs Department, and uh, she's the one that you hear from about uh, uh, annual reports and uh, your state filings. And she keeps all of us on track, and when she has a spare minute or two, she manages the office and takes care of human resources. So she's sort of a multi-purpose employee. On the far side over there is kind of a quiet place right now, um, but this is the International Global Builders and Bicycle Adventure corner of the room. And this hey, is David. Brian Iafiola, Vice President of International Programs. He also directs the Global Builders Program and the Bike Adventure Program. And we're looking right now for, for some help with both. Uh, we're talking to some people about uh, the bicycle adventure, and uh, we'll be looking for somebody to help with the Global Builders Program. We're not as urgent on that because we can't go anywhere right now. But once uh, things open up overseas, we're going to be sending trips. And so this corner of the room, which is usually very active, is, is quiet in these early days. So anybody want to say hello? <laughs> hey, David. All my other friends left me back here, so... Yeah, it's just it really, me, I'll say hello. It worries me about your, um, some of your leadership skills. Yeah. They just come and go. <laughs> Stacy, what do you know? Busy here working with um, new groups and looking at some really exciting virtual activities coming up for our U.S. partners. There's always something good going on over here in the U.S. programs. <laughs> and then Kathy? And once she gets them on board, I'll get in touch with them and get their paperwork going. Looking forward to hiring uh, a new bike adventure 
Yeah. Stacy, I told you you wouldn't have to talk. Do you want to say hello? <laughs> now there's one more that I need to introduce you to, and this is going to be a little bit interesting because we're going to switch around, and I'm going to introduce you to Chris Johnson. Chris is our Vice President of Communications, and he's responsible for everything that you see on Facebook, on the website. He also handles the direct mail and the news newsletter. Um, Chris is a guy that we uh, really uh, like to have around. You know, besides the fact he's a little grumpy, yes. we, uh, <laughs> we enjoy him with us. And his office is right in here. I'll just show you part of it because things tend to stack up. This is where this is where Chris operates, and you'll notice the red walls. That's a very southern thing. Um, this is probably a dining room at some point, because uh, dining rooms have red walls. So, Chris, I'm going to give this back to you, and we'll uh, go That's up and show him Miller's ex office. Excellent, excellent work. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you'll be impressed when you see. It. I, I taught him everything he knows about videography. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we need another lesson. <laughs> now in here is uh, Millard Fuller's old office, which I'm using now. Um, you can see it's full of uh, memorabilia, books, things that Millard left behind. Some of it I had to change out. Um, we used to have a, an honorary doctorate behind my desk there, and people would say, oh, he went to Williams and Mary. I said, no, no, <laughs> that's Millard. So I put a scripture up there instead. Uh, but this is where we operate, and uh, these are the folks that are getting the work done. Uh, it's an outstanding group of people. Now we're going to try to do this from time to time, and we'll talk about different things. Um, uh, we're, next, next one that we've, we're looking at, we'll talk about our international programs and introduce you all to some of the things that are going on around the world. But uh, we wanted to give you a little look at what we're doing and uh, see if uh, we can find some ways that we can keep our family better communicated and better coordinated with one another. But thank you for the work that you do because the work that happens in the Fuller Center happens in the field. Uh, we, we try to help from here, but we're not building houses. You're building houses. And uh, so thank you for that. And God bless you. And we're praying that uh, 2021 will be a great year. I think it's off to a a rough start, but we're going to get everything taken care of early so that we can uh, enjoy the rest of the year and get some houses built. Don't forget about the Millard Fuller Legacy Build. We're going to have that all across the country this year. So if your uh, covenant partner is doing something that you'd like to have recognized, let us know. And we want to have uh, have you get your yard sign and, and make you a part of the Millard Fuller Legacy Build. Also, the prayer uh, calendar is up and running. Now you can find it on the website. Uh, and if you have prayer requests, please send them in. And we're asking uh, the whole family, uh, Fuller Center family, to be praying for one another. So in the meantime, carry on. God bless. Hope your year's off to a great start.